What's up guys, it's your boy here bringing you another great video to the channel. As you guys know, on this channel we bring a lot of live streaming, live gaming, gaming videos, and a whole bunch of other stuff in between all, and all that guys. So if you like all that stuff and more, then stay tuned to the channel. Also guys, if you did want to support the channel, all you gotta do is like all my videos, share my videos, comment on my videos, and if you still haven't done so, Hit the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me guys, you never ever want to miss out. Alright, so on today's video, I did want to talk about a little bit about the Xbox. Alright, you guys know if you guys have Xbox for a while, Xbox comes with their own dedicated camera which is the Kinect. And people say, okay, the Kinect is great for the Xbox if you want to play certain games that require you movement or you want to use some video chatting on the Xbox and stuff. But if you could get the Kinect off of the Xbox, and I'm talking about the 360 Kinect or the Xbox One Kinect, because I don't think they have one yet for the Xbox X or Xbox S. I could be wrong, but I know I am not that sure about it because I only have the 360 and the Xbox One Kinect. But all right. But yeah, like I said, you can use those on the Kinect for all sorts of things. But did you guys know you can actually use that off the Xbox and actually connect it to your computer as a um, webcam or you can use it for all sorts of things. You can do it for 3D modeling. So if you want to use the Kinect and actually scan an object and actually use it for 3D modeling, you can do that as well. And there's other things you can do with the Kinect itself. Um, one big thing people like to use it for is VR, full body VR motion. So you can use your whole body and you can move your whole body in, in certain games, which is, I've seen it and it's complicated steps, but it's possible. As you guys know, with the 360 Connect, you can, that's a USB plug. So you can take that and plug it directly into your computer and you'll be fine, no issues. You just gotta install the drivers and that's it. Now, if you wanna use the Xbox, one connect which is this one right here which is a big one and more detail connect and camera you guys know the connection for this is different is this type of connection some weird connection it's an xbox one connection that you won't be able to plug it on your computer but yet you want to use this camera instead of the 360 one because maybe this is the only one you have available or you just want you prefer using this camera instead you're like okay how would i connect this on my computer and do everything you just talked about well, unfortunately, you won't be able to connect it directly into there. So, what I figured out and found out that you could buy, which is not that, it's very least expensive. And what you can use is this, this device right here. It converts the plug from that into a USB connection. Alright, and this has its own power source and everything. So, you have to actually use power to connect it. So, make sure you have an extra power outlet somewhere so you can use it. And this is basically what it looks like. You connect the connect on right here on the box. You connect the connect there. This is your USB connection right there, that which you connect to your computer. And then this right down here is your power plug right here. This one right here, it's your power plug. So basically, this is what I'm doing. I'm unboxing this because I am going to use the connect for 3D modeling. Because as you guys know, I got into 3D printing, so I want to go. I want to get into it more and actually check it out more and actually use this connect to 3d model stuff instead of me creating something i can use a 3d model and learn how to 3d model because creating stuff online on softwares on the computers are, are hard at least for me it is i gotta still learn it i'm learning I, I got some video courses that i'm going through i'm trying to learn it it is a difficult process but i'm gonna learn it eventually but for now if i want to do other things that i know i won't be able to create in 3d model myself if i can scan it in and then edit it from there It'll be awesome. So that's why I got the print right, that, that camera ready right there that I showed you. And I got this plug right here. So let's open it up and see what's inside this plug. All right, so I'm gonna open it up. Very simple, as you see, it's well packaged. And I'm gonna get closer to you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing. See, it's well packaged right there. Uh, if you open it up, they got it's more packaging inside. So here is the device itself where you connect the, the Xbox Connect to. Here's an instruction manual here, how to do it. What you have to do, what drivers to install. Here's the power cable here. And here is 
oh no, this was the USB cable, sorry. And this is the power cable right here. So it's very, very simple, right? So alright, let's go and open it up more on this one, see how it looks. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so it's very, very simple, guys. So this is this is the power brick for the power supply. As you see, power plug right there. I don't know if you could tell from there, but whatever. And here's where you put connect the connect right there. All right, so let's see. I got the connect right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the cable so you can see it's the actual cable. So it's all one cable, it's all connected. So I'm gonna just put the connect down so you guys can see I am using the cable. I'm not lying. So you take this cable and you connect it right here at this end. Simple, right? And then you take the USB cable, which is this one right here, connect at this end. All right? So we're gonna connect it right here. And then now you connect this part to the computer. And then this part right here is the power cable. And you just hook up the cable that comes here, which I will connect right now just so you can see. So it's a very easy, simple process. All right, and then you take the cable here, connect it right here, and that's it. That's how simple it is, guys. This is all it is. So yeah, so this device is not that expensive. I actually was able to get that conversion plug for about 22 bucks shipped from Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description below so you guys can get it if you're interested. This is all I'm gonna do on this video, only because I wanna learn how to 3D model myself first before I show you how to do it. Once I learn it completed, then I'll do another video on that. And then when I'm doing that, I'll show you how it connects to your computer, how it looks to use as a webcam as well. All right, so that's it for today. Today is just an unboxing of the device and what's it used for and the reasons why you would wanna use that plug for. All right, so if you enjoyed this video and everything I had to show you today, guys, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure everyone's aware of everything we do on this channel so they don't miss a thing just like you don't miss a thing. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so at the end of this video, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, you never, ever want to miss out. And that's it for today's video, guys. Until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.